In this video, I'll demonstrate how to change the oil in the TJ100 engine on a Subsonics microjet airplane. First, remove the engine cowling by removing the quarter turn fastener and jiggling the cowling slightly to remove it. Inspect the inside of the cowling for any oil residue. There should be just a very slight film on the right side from the oil separator, but there shouldn't be any, uh, any re uh, substantial residue. Next, remove the dipstick. Wipe it clean and set it aside. Then remove the engine fairing by removing the screws. Clip the safety wire from the oil tank drain plug. Then using a 12 millimeter wrench, loosen the drain plug. And with your fingers, loosen it till you just can't feel the o-ring binding. Then using a clean container, I usually use a low profile Tupperware type container. I cut the lip off of one corner so it will fit up nicely against the engine. Place it under the engine, being sure to hold it up tight against the engine behind the, the drain plug boss so that no oil can leak from the drain down the back of the container and into the airplane. Then using your fingers, go ahead and remove the drain plug. Again, remember when the plug falls out to hold the container up tight against the engine so that oil doesn't drip down the back of the container. It'll take a couple of minutes for all the oil to drain out. When the oil stops running, remove the container, wipe the area clean, and then leave a towel under the, the drain plug opening to uh, catch any oil that might drip out. Remember to remove the drain plug from the dirty oil so that you don't uh, dump it out when you dump the oil out. The drain plug has a slight recess. Uh, check that and make sure that there's uh, no residue in there or any metal chips or anything. 
Also inspect the uh, O-ring to make sure it's in good shape. And then wipe it down and set it aside. This is an oil sample bottle from Blackstone Laboratories. The outer bottle is just for the purposes of mailing. There's an inner sample bottle, an absorbent pad, and a uh, small plastic bag. Open the smaller bottle and pour some of the uh, dirty oil into it. About half full is fine. Then screw on the lid and uh, wipe it down. Wrap the small bottle in the absorbent pad and then place it in the plastic bag and uh, close the top. Squeeze out, squeeze out as much air as possible just so it's a nicer fit. There's also an information sheet. This has information about the aircraft, the engine, the number of hours, the type of oil you use, uh, also uh, your information, your email address and so forth. Uh, wrap that around the plastic bag, put the whole thing in the, uh, in the black bottle, put the lid on and run it down to the post office and mail it back to uh, Blackstone Laboratories uh, with postage of course. And it looks like all the oil is out of the engine. Very important step, remember to put the plug back in. And with the 12 millimeter box end wrench, yeah, go ahead and snug it up. Then using some 20,000 safety wire, safety wire the drain plug in place. Clip the safety wire from the oil filter housing. And again, using the 12 millimeter box end wrench, remove the housing. The housing is in place with an O-ring, so it may take several turns to, to get it uh, to the point where you can remove, remove it with your fingers. When the housing pulls away, the oil filter element will be inside. There's an O-ring groove on the top of the filter element, but the O-ring usually uh, gets stuck up in the uh, engine adapter. So reach up with your finger and pull that little O-ring out. Then remove the filter element from the housing and put it in a clean container. Dump out the contents of the housing and there's a small a bronze wavy washer uh, inside the housing. Make sure you don't lose that washer.
pour a small amount of jet fuel into each of the containers with the filter element and the filter housing. Swish the filter around a little bit uh, just to uh, clean it. And then shake it dry as best you can. Place it on a clean towel. And the same thing with the housing. Shake it around a little bit. And place it on a clean towel. Wipe down the housing, inspect the O-ring, make sure that it's not damaged. And also inspect the small O-ring that uh, came off the top of the filter element. Using an air hose, blow out the filter element. Start by blowing from the inside out to make sure that any particles that might be uh, on the element uh, don't get blown down through, through the inside. Then blow gently along the outside, but don't blow straight down onto it. Just blow it so that uh, it tends to get the jet fuel off of it. And then pat it dry with a clean towel. and wipe out the filter housing. And use the air hose to uh, get any residual fuel out of the inside. Place the wavy washer into the housing, making sure that it lays flat. Place the filter element into the housing, making sure that the O-ring groove is up. And then place the small O-ring into the O-ring groove. Get just a little bit of oil on your finger from the uh, engine adapter and wipe it onto the two O-rings as a lubricant and then screw the housing back up into the adapter. And a few turns with the 12 millimeter box end wrench. And tighten it gently. And again, using 20,000 safety wire, safety wire the uh, oil filter housing in place. Now we're ready to refill it with oil. I use a large uh, one quart lab bottle. It has a nice big opening. It's easy to pour oil into. Uh, the engine uses just less than uh, half a quart uh, for each uh, uh, fill. Uh, I cut about an inch off of the, uh, the spout because these bottles are made for uh, low viscosity things like alcohol and not oil. So it makes it a little easier to squeeze. 
place the spout into the dipstick hole and uh, start squeezing the oil in. Relax periodically and, uh, and see if you get bubbles or oil coming back into the spout. If you have bubbles, then you know the tank isn't full. As you start getting oil coming out of the spout, begin to retract the spout slightly and uh, then you can tell about how much oil is in the tank. You can look in the dipstick hole with a flashlight and see the top of the oil. It helps a little bit if you rock the airplane slightly. And uh, it's full when the oil reaches the bottom of the threads in the dipstick hole. Uh, you also want to make sure that you, you never fill it to the point that there's not an air gap between the top of the oil and the inside top of the tank. There always needs to be an air gap in there to allow for expansion. and then wipe off any spills. Give it one more check. And replace the dipstick. Very important step. Some of the newer engines have a safety wire hole on the dipstick. The older engines didn't have this and uh, I think as long as they're screwed down nice and snug there shouldn't be any problem and they shouldn't need to be safety wired. And replace the engine fairing. And tighten down all the screws. and wipe down the inside of the cowling. Again, there should only be a very, very slight residue of oil. Place the cowling onto the engine, making sure to align not only the back of the engine, but also the uh, inlet. That's the part that actually holds the cowling in place. and replace the quarter turn fastener in the cowling. Now take a white paper towel, place it over a small cup, shape it sort of like a funnel so you can pour some fuel down through it. And then take the uh, containers that held the oil filter element and housing Swish them around a little bit and pour them down through that uh, white towel.
Now inspect the towel for any metal fragments or uh, any residue. <clears throat> you may see just a very small amount of what really only amounts to metal dust. Uh, you might also see some gold flecks. Uh, these are normal, uh, especially early in the engine run as the, uh, the phosphor bronze surfaces of this fuel pump wear in. But uh, it shouldn't be anything more than just a very, very fine, uh, almost a dust. And don't forget to fill out the information sheet and uh, uh, pack up the oil sample bottle and, uh, take, and send it to Blackstone. And there we have it, the only oil change you can do in a white t-shirt without getting dirty. This video is only a supplement to the engine manual. The engine manual has the actual correct uh, procedures for performing the oil change and cleaning the filter. But uh, this is just there as a, uh, uh, an additional supplement to, to help you uh, uh, change the oil. Uh, remember that the oil needs to be changed every 10 hours and remember to always use the same type of oil every time uh, unless you go through the procedure for changing oil types uh, in the manual.